everyone. Welcome to our summer lessons. This June and July, we're going to be making waves. Just like the ocean, when one wave crashes, it starts another wave and another wave, and it just keeps the ocean constantly moving. So we are going to be talking about the fruit of the Spirit. God gave us Jesus as an example on how to be human, and God gave us the Spirit so that way we had things that we, we had God within us. So we're going to go through the fruits of the Spirit this summer together. We're going to kick off week one all about love. So as we're making waves this month, remember that one act of kindness, just like a wave, will start another act of kindness. And that it will start another act of kindness trickling throughout your whole community. Again, this week is about love. Let's check out the story.
last week, I got to go to the beach. And I think some of it came home with me. Raise your hand if you like to play in the water. Me too. My friends and I played and splashed in the water all day. We looked around the beach and found some really cool things like this really cool piece of driftwood. And so many shells. But the most fun thing we found was really cool painted rocks. Some people painted them and hid them in places on the beach. Do you know what's on this rock? Shout it out if you know. One, two, three. A heart, yes, a heart means love. I love hearing the waves. I love playing ball. I love eating lollipops. There's so many things to love. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Hayden. Who? Who? Found some treasures at the beach, did you? Oh, hi, Ollie. Someone painted this cool heart rock, and it reminds me of all the things I love. Love is important. It's true. I know the biggest love ever for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through hell. I've got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> well, hello there. I'm Aisha. Welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see what I made today? <laughs> I call them my heart full of love cupcakes. They've got hearts on top and yummy red frosting. And when you take a bite, they are full of red and pink heart sprinkles. They are so fun. <laughs> they go with today's story about why we should have a heart full of love for others. If you're ready for the story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, Three, tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible starts with God. Do you know that God loves you so much? It's true. Stretch out your arms as far as you can. Yes, stretch really far. <laughs> Good, God loves you bigger than your arms can stretch. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> okay, you can put them down now. Because God loves us so much, he gave us the best gift ever. God gave us his son, Jesus, to be our friend forever. Jesus was born on the very first Christmas. Did Jesus stay a little baby? No! Jesus grew up to do amazing things and show us how God wants us to live and how to love others. No matter where Jesus went or what he was doing, Jesus stopped to show others that he loved them. One day, Jesus stopped to talk to a man named Zacchaeus, even though Zacchaeus had made lots of bad choices. Jesus loved Zacchaeus no matter what. Then another day, Jesus had been teaching all day and he wanted to take a rest, but Jesus loved the crowd and wanted to help them. So he kept teaching them instead of going away. There was also a time when one of Jesus's friends, Peter, told people that he didn't know Jesus and wasn't friends with him. How would you feel if someone said they weren't your friend? I would feel sad and it would probably be hard to forgive them. But Jesus did forgive Peter. Jesus loved Peter and forgave him for telling people they weren't friends. Jesus is an amazing friend and God sent him to show us how to love everyone. Jesus taught us to stop and listen to our friends. Jesus taught us to help our friends. Jesus taught us to forgive our friends. When we stop to listen, help, and forgive, we are loving like Jesus taught us to. 
Jesus can help us love everyone. Jesus can help us do everything. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God loves us so much. He gave Jesus so we can choose love in all we do. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow. God loves us so much that he gave us Jesus to be our friend forever. Jesus can help me choose to love, and love can change the world. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Hey, one way I can choose love is by FaceTime my grandma. I can tell her I love her and show her my cool rocks. See you next time. I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Philippians 4.13 I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Philippians 4.13 God sent his only son, Jesus, to be an example for us and show us how much he loves us. So this week, we're learning that we can love others because God loved us first. We can choose love because of Jesus. So let's go ahead and pray to God now. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to help us love people the way he loves people. We love you, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, everyone. I'll see you next week.